Hi, my name is Jen Hageman and I am an equine equipment designer and my specialty is integrating top performance textiles and impact technologies into the equestrian market. Um, we're indoors today. Um, there, it, it was freezing. We tried, to, we tried to freeze outside actually filming and so we brought it inside because you all said I could come inside and not freeze and I'm taking you up on that offer. So today, because we have so many requests, we're trying something a little new. We're going to do two pads in one video. Um, so because of last week's brouhaha, this was the number one request. The SMX Air Ride for a professional's choice. Brand new one, $181.98. I paid for this with the Brock uh, technology in it. And we will review the manufacturer's claims against uh, what it actually does. And the other one was the Matrix, a new pad on the market. Um, and we're going to, it's by Toklat. And we'll review this one. It's the Ortho Impact. And um, uh, this one is actually a used one. I couldn't even find one in the tax store. So, uh, so we have new versus used, and we'll see how they do against the manufacturer's claims. So we'll start off with the SMX Air Ride. $181.98 buys you. The features are, this is a Comfort Fit SMX HD Air Ride saddle pad, uh, seamless hand-woven Navajo blanket top and contour to follow the natural curves of the horse's back. Heavy duty, three quarter inch core is proven to absorb shock and disperse weight evenly over the pad, eliminating pressure points. Breathable core promotes air circulation to significantly cool your horse's back and maintains original thickness and energy absorption capabilities for years. Wool lining rapidly wicks away moisture. So, uh, 60 day free trial test ride. It is a Navajo. It is of adequate weight. It is made in India, um, so most of the Navajos today are actually made in India. Um, we don't have a, a lot that are made here. Um, this is a, this would be a four ounce wear leather. It's good thread, good stitching. I actually like the, th thread, and the thread and stitching on this one. Um, it says it is 33 by 88 and we did measure it. So it is exactly 33 by 88. Um, it has a front and a back profile. I like the back profile. I tend to go with a little bit more in the withers uh, for wither clearance, especially when you have um, a harder uh, surface underneath, such as this Brock um, extruded foam uh, provides. So that's just me. And uh, the wool underneath, this looks to be about a half inch. Um, you're going to see me do this a lot when it comes to uh, fleeces and sheepskins. Um, what I'm testing for is what's the preferred for heat and pressure dispersal, and this comes from the medical side, is 30 millimeters and 20 micron density. So it's actually 27 millimeters to 30 millimeters and 20 micron density. And what that means is there's a specific type of thickness involved in your fleece pile. And um, when, so when you compress it, uh, it still allows for to disperse the pressure and allow the heat to dissipate um, underneath. This is only a half an inch, so it's about half shy of what they recommend. Um, and I'm easily bringing my, my fingers through it, uh, raking them through. So, you know, ideally I would like to see a, a full uh, one inch on there. As far as the impact protection, we'll get to those claims in a bit. Let's go on to the matrix. Um, now I memorized this because this was a used one and it doesn't have the things on it. So um, the points were, it was an ETC anti-friction fabric on top. It is actually a military grade. Um, ETC fabric. They have two grades and this is the more abrasion resistant of the two. Um, it is highly breathable and um, oh yeah let's check this one. They say it's breathable. Yeah I can feel it. I can feel some of uh, my breath coming through on that. Um, so on this one the they say that it is ergonomic. 
it's long enough. I'm going to go more contour than ergonomic on this one because it is going to come down to the points of the western saddle, the tree. Um, I don't think it's fully going to come with the trap, but it uh, depends on the horse. So uh, it is definitely contoured. It has this feature where uh, the fabric is removed for closer leg contact, which I like. Um, the stitching is awesome. Truly awesome. Fantastic. Um, is it breathable? It's going to be very breathable down at the end. Not breathable where the impact foam is. Um, but the wool on the underside is one inch and it is a one inch wool pile. It's very hard for me to rake my fingers through. It's good, good quality. Um, they say it's 100% virgin wool. As far as I know, uh, when you do a wool pile like this, it has to be mixed with a bit of poly for it actually to stand up and hold density. So whether that claim it being 100, I don't know. It might be close, but I don't think it is. Um, and that's important to know for any type of people that have horses with allergies because these, uh, these fleeces that are knit, the piles, are actually knitted to an acrylic back. And sometimes horses, especially um, the Arabians and the horses with uh, the quarter horses that have herd up can um, have issues with, with it. It's very rare, but you should know. Um, so yeah, this looks, this is lovely. And um, the impact protection, they say, I'm grabbing my notes now because there was just way too many. Um, so on the ortho, it said, for advanced protection using a combination of Poron XRD, which absorbs up to 90% of impact, and medium density viscoelastic memory foam, which provides superior musculoskeletal cushioning. Um, the velcro is top notch, I'll tell you that much. And so we can see this blue and yellow layer. This is actually a 33 pound ortho grade viscoelastic. So it is not a medium grade, it's actually an ortho grade. It's better than a medium grade. Uh, a medium grade would be classified as a 25 pound. So this is a five millimeter and stitches are good. Five millimeter um, XRD, I should say. Uh, and a 33 pound viscoelastic foam. Uh, the profile on this, Love the front profile, not so hot on the back profile. Um, I'd like to see more on the back profile. And you can see where Professional's Choice actually has the edge on the uh, back profile. And uh, Matrix has the, Toklet has the edge on the front profile. So let's get into the impact claims. So I'm gonna turn these upside down and I'm gonna turn them upside down for a reason. So one of the things going on on the website or the uh, Facebook page is, you know, 10 pound bowling ball. I use this to demonstrate the kinetic energy between a human and a horse. 80% is the horse, 20% is us. So the pressure down, we've, the, the constant uh, bombarding in the marketing about distribution of pressure, about um, uh, impact absorption, blah, 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 is all concentrated on targeting the emotional part of a buy, not the intellectual part of a buy. So studies have shown for years now that horses are perfectly capable of carrying about 20% their own body weight. Um, Anytime they go over that 20%, then they start to get a lot more muscle fatigue, a lot more respiratory stress. Um, and it's not, it's not a gradual increase. It's a definite spike upwards between 20 and 30% their own body weight. So um, those choosing heavy pads versus light pads, you know, know that margin. Um, but shock absorption is something completely different. And it is mostly 80% going towards us. And as we are constantly, all equestrian sports are constantly in the top 10 of the most dangerous sports that uh, in the world. Um, we, our partners, are 10 times our size. 
a football player. Linebackers, what are, what are they, 325 maybe, going four to five miles an hour? Our partners are 1,200 pounds going 15 miles an hour. Um, and they, just their basic movement provides an energy towards, of impact towards our spine. Uh, we're told to absorb it. Absorbing impact is ludicrous. When we have technologies now, uh, you wouldn't tell anybody in any other sport to absorb impact. It's impact control or impact management is what we deal with. Um, and that is why it's 10 pounds. So when you see this hit these, you're gonna picture your horse coming at you because we've all had I call them the oh crap moments. I actually call them something a little bit more strong, but kids may be watching. So those oh crap moments, that's horses. That is the nature of the beast. They do things. I have a uh, cartoon on my computer in my office that's uh, Halloween, you know, Halloween for horses. And it's a horse scared to death. And on the, on the screen is the, um, the plastic bag that flapped. We manage this risk, risk management, every time we step into the stirrups. That's what we do. And there's so many things on the market now that can help us enjoy our sport more and safer. Because when we come out of the tack is why we're ranked in the top 10. We do not fare well. And we all know somebody, if we haven't had a break ourselves or uh, ended up in the hospital ourselves, we know somebody who has, or we read about somebody who has. Um, the top professionals, they don't come out of this sport unscathed. That is the logic behind equine design, keeping us safe and keeping them safe. The irony of it all is that if we market things towards keeping us safe, we strategize. That extra hundred bucks towards keeping us safe, well, I don't feel, I, I'm not feeling that bad. Spend it towards your horse, you'll drop it all day long. If it's, gonna, if it's gonna keep your horse safe and sound, you will spend that extra money all day long. So it's emotional buy versus logical buy. So as we get into the impact protection, it's also important to bring up again, we have no ATSM standards. So nothing is made specifically for our industry. No substrates are made for our industry. So we're adapting things. So things might have all sorts of fancy numbers attached to them that they can do this, they can do that. But what can they do that for? Is it a human? Is it a horse? Or is it a human and a horse? So let's watch the kinetic, or the, uh, we've got the air ride right here with the Bach Brock foam. And this is what it does. See how matrix tests. Air Ride, the Professional's Choice new and improved SMX Air Ride saddle pad features a brand new core that provides 12% more energy absorption and 5% greater pliability. 12% for what? Making them more comfortable than ever. That's subjective. This revolutionary pad works to protect your horse's back by absorbing negative energy and dispersing it over the entire pad, preventing uncomfortable pressure points. In addition, this latest version of air ride technology now allows up to 50% more 3D airflow to keep your horse cool, slowing the rate of fatigue. Okay, I'd like to see the studies on that. The larger beads also allow for 12% more energy absorption and 5% more pliability. Sounds good, but for what? Is it a horse or is it a human or is it both? Making this pad absorb more shock while protecting your horse's back. 
energy is spread over the whole pad, preventing uncomfortable pressure points. Most of the uh, most of the energy from us is actually dispersed through the trios of our saddles. So the pads, it's this coming up that the pads are for. So um, our new and improved air ride technology now allows for 50% more 3D airflow through the closed cell beating utilized in the pad, keeping your horse cool. The materials don't absorb water, thus providing resistance and bacterial growth. Okay. Um, Matrix, technology transforming tradition. T3 is all about giving you the horse the freedom to move and the protection he needs to perform his best. Our designs and technology mark a major transition in the designs of products for the art, sport, and science of riding. Our products are systematically engineered with the latest science, technology, and ergonomic designs to provide superior impact protection and pressure relief. Our products undergo extensive testing, ensure we're providing you the absolute best for you and your equine partner. Again, always call the manufacturer and ask about their studies. But, I think it's clear. I think it's absolutely clear. Because when it comes to the safety issue of coming out of attack, there is nothing you cannot have any motion. You don't want any feedback, let alone that's something that's knocking you out. There's newer technologies. This is a straight up piece of XRD. I work with this stuff all the time. You can drop it here. You can drop it here. And I can drop it there. That's technology. And that is my review.